Now we always want to be coming into a scene at the right time and we always want to be leaving a scene at the right time. So the best way to kind of be a judge of this is to have a good feeling about the interest or the purpose of that actual scene. Because if we come into a scene way too early and there's no uh, important information for the viewer to be absorbing, it's gonna be very bland, it's gonna be boring. There's not gonna be an important moment of focus for the viewer to be absorbing. And now it's similar when we're leaving a scene, we don't wanna cut too early, we don't wanna cut too late because the scene has to finish itself. It's like me stopping in the middle of <laughs> so let's check it out. So as you can see, there's a good balance of the amount of information that the viewer is taking in for it to feel seamless. Now if we have this same intro shot, but we extend the beginning, let's see what kind of effect that we have. So as you can see, when you're trying to figure out when to cut or when to go into an image, there has to be a balance between the amount of information you're giving leading into the scene, the exciting or interesting, or the reason behind actually having that shot. You don't wanna to cut too much into that moment and you don't wanna to leave too much leading up into that moment either. Now let's take a look if we extend the timing of the last clip in this sequence. So depending on how much information has to be absorbed by your viewer at that specific moment in the video, will decide how much running time you leave into your cuts and how much outro time that you have at the end of your cuts. 